Welcome back. Were you able to figure it out? I just Googled around for some free .ico icons, and I really, really like this lightning bolt one, so I've just downloaded it as an ICO. And now it's in my folder over here as bolt.ico. Now, how were you able to solve this? If your first instinct was to Google for it, well, good job. That's what you want to do as a developer. You see over here that, well, Flask has documentation on how we can use it. Now, there's two ways to do it. We have this link way and a way that works with older browsers as well. Now, this syntax might not be obvious to you, but let's use this method and then I'm going to show you what it actually does. So let's just copy and paste. So we go into our index.html and in our link tag, I'm going to add this. So let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see and maybe a little smaller so that everything is in here. And we see here that we have this syntax that we haven't seen before that's actually going to be used with Flask that we're going to talk about. But we see here that it's going to be for the static folder and the file name is going to be favicon.ico, but mine is called bolt.ico. So let's just call it bolt.ico. That's the file name. And it should be in the static folder. So I'm going to move this into this static folder, just like that. Now, if I just save here, I can actually comment this out, hit save, and see what happens. If I go back to my website and I refresh, Hey, look at that. Do you see how I have a little bolt here? You see that the bolt.ico is now on my website. How cool is that? And I didn't really do anything crazy. I didn't even have to have an endpoint, which is really, really cool. Again, Flask, because a favicon is something so common, just makes it super easy for us so we don't have to clutter our code with a favicon endpoint. So I can just remove this. But you know what? I'm not a big fan of doing things without understanding them. And right now, what we just did here seems really, really strange. Where is this URL for thing coming from? What's with this double squiggly lines? In the next video, we're going to find out what all of this means.